how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Airport CEO. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be jumping back into this game after what feels like forever. The game is out of early access now. It has two DLCs and I feel like I've missed so much because I didn't know any of that until kind of recently. So the full version released, I, I don't know when it released, but it came out. And it came out with the Supersonic DLC, which added the Concorde and the TU-144. And recently, we got the Vintage DLC, which has added some different aircraft typically flown between the 1930s and the 1980s. That's kind of cool, man. It's going to add some variety to the airports, and I am absolutely here for it. Now, let's jump in, begin a new adventure. We are going to make me, because obviously that's important. Uh, let's see. I am incredibly pale. I'm not that pale, but I'm, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Hair color uh, definitely needs a bit of a tweak, but I'm thinking I'm thinking I want this. I'll be honest with you. I think I want the mustache. I think the mustache is a... Uh, I think it's a good look. I think the mustache is a good look, and the suit is fine. So, we're going to go for me, and we're going to pick my usual spot of Belfast International Airport, which is about there. And in terms of name, it is just going to be Belfast, sorry, International Belfast City Airport, which is BHD. And then for the logo, absolutely this one. Absolutely love the ticket logo. Going to go with a large map, and I'm thinking we're going to go with moderate difficulty. We're starting with $2 million, and emergency events are going to be rare. Now, I've never experienced emergency events in this game, so I think rare is probably fair enough. I think we can deal with rare. I'm also going to let you know right now, I am going to be following the tutorial for two reasons. One, haven't played this in a little while, and two, anyone that hasn't seen the game before can follow along and know what's going on. So let's jump right into it. And here we are. This is where we're going to be building an airport. We can unlock all these different tiles in time, but for now we have an introduction. This down here at the bottom is our build panel. This is where all airport related structures and items can be found. Some things aren't available yet. We have, we have to get those through research and development. This is our management panel. We have our dashboard where we can see all of this information right here. We can see our average ratings and notifications. We can get uh, weather reports and some statistics over here when we start hiring more people. We have an economy tab which I'm sure you can imagine what that does. It's all about the uh, budget and economy of the airport. And we have our operations tab where we can open and close the airport. We can allow or disallow general aviation. We can change our runways up and all of that good stuff as well. We should also probably pause so that we don't accidentally spend money or somehow make money because I just made $50, which is fair enough. Uh, down here is our airport rating panel. This will tell us just the general opinion of the uh, airport, which is fine. And it looks like we have an email from the mayor, which I guess we'll give it a bit of a read. It's going to be an email from Mayor Gregor Fonsworth at Belfast.gov. That's probably a real thing, but okay. Oh, God, if it's Belfast.gov, what kind of accent is this guy going to have? Uh, <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? We're not going to we're, we're not going to go there. We'll just give him his surname's Fonsworth. So, um, <clears throat> oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you for our last meeting. And I hope you like your new job. I know it isn't much at this point, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot of work ahead of you, so you'd better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport, but let me remind you anyway that you have a budget to keep, and we count on you to get this place making a profit. Good luck, and we'll talk soon! Here are the most important things you'll need to know. Press tab to access the management panel. Here you'll find everything from a management perspective such as economy, staffing, purchasing new products, operations, and more. This is your control panel as a CEO. Press H to access the tutorial. It can prove to be quite challenging to build airports, so this might be of great assistance. 
We at the Siri office want to thank, want to get you a flying start. <laughs> so I've asked a few people with inside knowledge of airport operations to contact you via email over the day. So make sure to watch your inbox. Thanks, uh, Greg. All right. <laughs> okay, thanks, Greg. Uh, this is our flight planner. This is kind of useless right now because we don't have any flights coming in, but this is where we will plan flights and can eventually automatically plan flights, which is fantastic. And there's so much more to do. There is so much more to do. So we need to build a small airfield is what we need to do. So let's go ahead, bring up this. Let's go to economy contracts and get ourselves a contract with a contractor. Uh, so we have highway, two stars, 68 contractors for $8.80 per hour. Or Brickley with 140 for 560. I think we'll go with Brickley. I think Brickley sounds like a pretty good one to go for. And now we need to uh, deploy these guys as well. So we'll just deploy all of them. Get them out there doing their thing. And we can uh, let the game run a little bit while these guys actually get into the airport. Now is the, the fun part though. We need to get started with construction in order to get my first general aviation flight. This image is an example of an airport design that is suitable for GA operation. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and start placing everything that we're going to need. So we're going to need a runway. We're going to go with grass because it's cheap. Uh, and we'll do a runway. We could do like right in the corner. Which honestly is probably not the worst idea in the world. Uh, but I'm going to go for... Oh, where am I going to go for this thing? Um, I'm going to go for here is what I'm thinking. Maybe. Maybe here. Maybe not. We'll, we'll do the corner. We'll go for the corner. Uh, so we're going to go right in the corner. And we need to place some ramps as well. So a runway ramp right about there. A runway ramp right about there. And uh, now we need some taxiways as well. Now these things have to be five. So one, two, three, four, five. So we want to go like this. And I'm actually slightly tempted to have them be a little bit further away from the runway. Not that they need to be, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna make them a little bit further away from the runway. Uh, so something like this, we can come all the way down. That's gonna be decent. And now we need to place some small stands as well. And this is what I was hoping for. I was hoping I could place these things like this so that they are, you know, not taking up all this space. So let's go ahead and go one, two, and I, I'm tempted to do them on the other side as well. I, this isn't going to be the most efficient setup initially, but it's, I, I want to take up a you know, little bit of space. Only, only a little bit of space. Uh, so that's four. That's five. And that should be fine. And now I think we just need to wait for all this to be constructed, right? Yeah. So we'll let you guys kind of run and do your thing. And uh, we're also technically going to need some other things as well. So we are going to need some service roads. So I might as well bring them through here and I might as well, I'm really tempted to spend more money. I'm going to be honest. I'm really tempted to spend more money here on, uh, on more stands. The game doesn't need me to do it, but I'm, I'm slightly tempted to do it. So let's, let's do it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I can do six. I can do, Ooh, no, let's not do that. Um, how do I cancel you? Is it bulldoze? There we go. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll go and get some service roads like this. And that's going to give us just a little bit of space to uh, to play with. And hopefully having the extra stands means, you know, more planes, which means more money at some point. That would be my assumption at the very least. Now, what are we doing here? We're waiting for construction of the taxiway foundation to finish. Then connect taxiway paths between all stands and runway ramps. Okay. So... I think for the most part, we just need to go and grab this guy, which is the taxiway path. Uh, run it to about there. Run it all the way up to there. And all the way through there. And then basically, we are going to connect all of these aircraft stands to the taxiway path all the way down here. And that's going to give us 10 functional aircraft stands, I think. Which it absolutely does. And now I think all we need is a small air traffic control tower, which is going to be this little guy. 
And I think this little guy can go... Oh, I don't know if he can go central. I don't know if he can go central. What is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, it's eleven. Yeah, so it can't go central. So I think it can just live down in this corner. Which I think is a decent little spot for it. You know, nicely out of the way. Kind of taking up only the footprint that we've already built. So little air traffic control tower down there. We got some guys coming over to build it. And I think once it's done, we can actually start accepting flights. I think. Yeah, so now it's time to accept your first flight. At this time, we can only accept general aviation flights, a small type of aircraft operated by private pilots, as we haven't yet acquired a commercial license. First off, we need to ensure the runway, the aircraft stands, and the airport is open. When this is done, I have five general aviation flights land to complete this tutorial step. Okay, so we need to go back in here. We need to go to aircraft or airport control panel, open the airport, allow general aviation and then we need to click on the runway and open the runway and now i think it's just a case yeah it's just gonna be a case of waiting we have a flight coming in right there go into a stand and we should most likely yeah we have another one so it shouldn't take too long for all of this to uh to get done little difficult to see what's going on right now obviously what with the lack of any terminal or any real proper you know paving of well, anything at all, but I think that's okay. You know, we'll start small, we'll follow the tutorial, we'll see what's going on, and uh, we'll see how things work out, I suppose. Uh, let's see, five general aviation flights. We've got uh, three. Do they land at night? And also, what was that? There's a cow on the runway. There was a cow on the runway. I think it might be, <laughs> might be ground beef at this point, but uh, there, there was. A cow on the runway. There definitely was. That's something we're gonna have to deal with, isn't it? Animals on the runway. Oh boy. Okay, actually, what is this? Hold on a minute. Place at least one fence gate to make it easier for contractors to pass certain areas in the airfield. Oh. Wait, what? What? Why am I doing so what why am I doing this? Am I okay, I guess we go in here. We've got we've got fences. Am I building fences around the entire airport? Is is that a thing it wants me to do? Because, I mean, we can. It's a bit expensive, but we certainly can. It seems a bit unnecessary, but I, I guess we'll do it. So, a fence right there. Uh, we can do a fence kind of along down here by the road. We can do a fence that goes a bit like this. I think I've got the game paused while I'm doing this. Uh, so, we'll do fences like that. We'll bring one right up to the top of the map and we'll go right across and now it wants me to add a gate so a fence gate can go i guess right there so they can get through and that will i mean that's that's got to take a while to build right oh well, i guess it was what, 140 contractors so maybe not that long anyway Congratulations on your first functional airport. The GA pilots are enjoying your airport, but some are concerned about the lack of aircraft refueling service. Let's get started with constructing all required structures for a basic refueling service. So we need to place a vehicle checkpoint to connect public and service roads. Okay. We can absolutely do that. So... Wait, World Entrance Tunnel enables all road-based traffic to enter and exit the airport grounds. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, so this is our vehicle checkpoint, which I guess would go, like, here, essentially. Which I don't think is too bad. So vehicle checkpoint, I'm, I'm thinking we'll do... Yeah, I'm thinking we'll bring it in a little bit, right? So we'll bring it in a little bit. We'll put it, like, there. And then we need to like link the fences up. Actually, you know what? No, let's let's not do there. Um, let me let me do it this way. Uh, so vehicle checkpoint uh, that way. We're just gonna put it there because I think that's probably the better spot for it. Uh, so that'll work out. That'll be fine. That'll be our checkpoint. And then all we need to do, I think, is get some service roads and connect them like that. And that's gonna let some vehicles in here which can go all the way over here. And I'm hoping I can put some of my refueling stuff right in the middle here. That's kind of why I wanted that space. 
so that we could maybe get away with putting aircraft refueling right in the middle of everything. I figure that's the best place for it, you know, but we need, we need like a, a garage as well. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Hopefully you guys can finish this nice and quickly. There we go. Okay. So what do we need now? Place a vehicle depot or service vehicle parking lot. Okay. So let's have a little bit of a look and see how that's going to be going. So vehicle depot. I, for the life of me, do not remember what they, uh, so vehicle depot or service vehicle parking lot. Um, this fits pretty well. The, the depot actually fits really nicely as well. So vehicle depot can go right about there. And then we need a small Avgas fuel depot and need to wait for everything to finish being built. Okay. Uh, so this guy can go like right on that road. But I think the best thing to do would be put it kind of back from the road a little bit and then just grab some service roads and do something like this and something like that. And I think that'll be okay. That should, uh, that should work out kind of nicely. And it's going to mean that refueling is right in the heart of everything, which is exactly where I want it to be. So that's, that's kind of perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now, we're almost ready to offer Avgas. All we need to do now is purchase a fuel truck and sign a contract with an aviation fuel supplier. So... I guess what we're doing is purchasing an Avgas fuel truck. So vehicle tab and purchase vehicle. So vehicles, purchase. We have a Fjord fuel truck. And with, I, I guess with 10 stands, we probably want to. So we'll order two of them. We'll wait for them to, uh, to get here. And I imagine the other thing is going to be contracts, right? So we have some choices. We have Avi fuel and nature fuel. You are going to be Avgas for 148 per liter, and you're going to be Avgas for 154. Ooh, but you'll deliver 400,000 liters per delivery. You are 200,000. Okay. So you're just a bigger delivery. I think we'll just go Avi fuel, to be honest. That's that's probably fair enough. There's the uh, the two trucks coming in as well, which is beautiful, and we should have there it is, the uh, supplier coming in as well. And then these guys fill up and now we go back to operations, I think. So operations right here. And what are we doing? So Avgas fuel service disabled. It is now enabled. And that means that we should not wait, wait for the aviation fuel supplier to refill your fuel depot. What? Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. Uh, so that's done. And now we need to refuel. Oh, look at that. There we go. How much money am I going to get for this? It didn't say. It didn't, it didn't say at all, which fair enough. I guess we're probably going to have to wait for more planes to land though, right? Because the service hasn't, the service wasn't available to most of the planes that have landed. So fair enough, I guess. Good news is though, we should be able to, I mean, we, we can, right? We have got two of the fuel trucks, so we should be able to quite easily manage to refuel however many planes happen to land. Although with only the one runway, we're not, I don't think we're going to be swamped. So we probably could have gotten rid of uh, the second truck and stuck with one, but what's done is done. We're not really going to worry about it. Although I am noticing that I should probably go back to here, grab this little bit of fence and just do that right there. Just to link up that, uh, those, those sections of fence right there. Now, are you guys going to come down and do that? There you go. Should we do... No, oh, that's a little gate right there. Should we do another gate? I'm not really sure. Uh, now, you now know the basics of airport operation. You can continue expanding your airport for general aviation aircraft, earning money from servicing those aircraft. Alternatively, you can expand your airport to handle commercial flights, which carry passengers. When you're ready, click next to proceed. I think we're gonna. So we want to drag out a terminal at least 20 by 15 in size. Okay, I, I feel like I've made, oh, I have, I have made a bit of a mistake here. Now here's, here's where this is interesting. So this little crossing here, right? That's how people get from your terminal to the stand. Because I've put it here, these stands can only ever be general aviation. So if I want to build a terminal, 20 by 15 in size, 
and have people get out to the planes, I actually need to put in more aircraft stands. And they're going to need to be on this side. Ah. I'm a little annoyed that I messed that up. I, well, messed it up's not. I feel like messed it up isn't quite the isn't quite the, the way to put it, but I've definitely um, made this more complicated for myself. That's, that's I think, fair to say. Uh, so, we've got 1.3 million. Let's, uh, let's do the terminal. Let's, let's give it a shot. Uh, so what is that? Four, are you kidding me? I can't do 20, oh my god. Because these, these guys are in the way, I can't do a terminal of the right size? Oh boy, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, I can move those things. So if we go to infrastructure, I think. Uh, yeah, so contractor site, we're going to put it on that side. And delivery site, that side. And then we're going to bulldoze and bulldoze, both of those. And I guess we can probably move the fence or just bulldoze the fence for now. In fact, let's, let's just bulldoze the entire section of fence. On, uh, on this side of things up until about there. So that way it's not in the way of what I'm trying to do. Uh, so, ooh, I've just realized that gives us a connection right there as well, which is kind of beautiful. Let's extend that. Let's, uh, some grass, and let's extend all the way up to here. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Um, that is not remotely what I was trying to do. That gives us the connections that we wanted. We are going to want to go in here and connect up these taxiways as well. Uh, honestly, I, I do imagine this will be a nightmare for planes trying to get in and out, but it's it's what we're doing, so that's fine. Uh, now, what are you doing? So, commercial flights. Okay. We're, we are going to set these to be commercial only because we might as well. Um, now, a terminal. So, let's go for this right here. So that's 16 by 18. That is 16 by 25. I feel like that'll be big enough. I really do. But I'm going to go 15 by 25 just so we have a little bit of room on the right there for a sidewalk. So something like that. And then I'm going to do a little bit just there as well. And I feel like that can sort of be the, the entrance to the terminal, right? So... We need a nice large door and we can do, we can do two of them. So a nice pair of large doors right there. Uh, we can rotate and do one there and one there. And now what are we doing? Place, place at least one bus stop and one car drop off and make sure they connect to a public road. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> we don't really have the space. We don't really have the space to do that. Um, hmm. Okay, we might need to figure this out. We might have to shuffle some things around. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not really 100% sure what to do here. I guess, I mean, we could put them down here for now. It doesn't seem like the best place for it though. So I guess what we'll do is, let's do this and this. And then, what was the other one? Car stops. So we'll do that, 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 and that. And I'm thinking that public road uh, can go here and all the way down through there. And uh, probably connect down there as well, if we're completely... So something like that, right? And we can fill up that space with a little something something in, uh, in a little bit. So that'll be fine. We'll get all that built. Because uh, now all I want is to go in here and do sidewalks. So that's what I want all of this space to be. This is all going to be sidewalk, sidewalk, uh, sidewalks here as well. Just the entire way around all of that. Uh, we can probably do... Hmm. I guess a crosswalk is kind of going to be needed as well. So a medium one, like in here. I don't know how well they're going to work there, though. Which is kind of the thing. Uh, I guess we can technically do here. And we can do there as well. So that'll probably work out. Uh, now, I am noticing this is a little bit weird. I'm not really sure 
how this has happened. And I can't build there either. So I think we actually need to go in and demolish a chunk of terminal. And also demolish that floor, I guess. Which apparently I can't do. Hello, game. Structure position not valid. I find that hard to believe. Uh, floors. What is this? Demol is that going to let me demol? Aha. Right. So clear that out. So I can rebuild the weirdly missing bit of terminal. So we'll get that all built. Although I do need to go in and say bulldoze those walls because we don't need those. We only need the flooring and that bit of wall. Now, let's see here. Open the heat map panel and have a look at where passengers and employees can walk. All right. So what is this? Uh, walkable area. Okay. So they can walk through there. I feel like that's probably not a bad place to put a, uh, a crossing either. So medium. Uh, we'll rotate. We'll go right there. That'll let them cross over nicely. Uh, we could do one down here as well. I don't think we need to. Because they can they can get around and that's kind of the important thing. So that's all right. Uh, now, now we have the basic passenger flow configured and soon the terminal will be buzzing with life. Before that, let's take care of my future staff. Oh boy. We need a staff room. Okay. Well, let me turn off this heat map because it's slightly annoying. And... I kind of want to figure out where everything's going to go. It's, it, you know, drag out a staff room is great. Yes, that is a thing we need to do. But... Hmm. I'm debating whether or not the staff room needs to be on... Like, which side of security is it going to need to be on? Um, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Let's just do... I guess I guess a staff room can kind of go down in this corner. So something like... Something like that. And then in terms of zoning and rooms, staff zone, staff room. So that's going to be our staff room. Where we're going to need a nice, simple door. Which can go right about there. And I guess we can do one on that side too. And place a few office desks and any type of seating in the staff room. Okay, so staff... Is it just seating that we're looking for? So chairs, benches, laptop tables... Am I... Ah, right. That's what I'm looking for. Office desks. Okay. Um, I mean, we can do a bunch of these kind of along this wall, right? So we can do... What's that? Six? That's... What? Seven? So we can do seven right there. Uh, we can do one, two, three. We can do one, two, three. And we can kind of double these up a little bit. They're kind of expensive, but... No, 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 no. Do not delete that room. Uh, let's delete you. They're, they're a little bit expensive, but I imagine, like, it's eventually gonna... Uh, wait, aren't these... Wait, what are these for? These are administrative. So I probably don't need this many of them, if we're completely honest. Uh, so let me go in and say, take out that one, that one, and that one. And we'll take out these ones as well. And that's, that's probably enough for now. In terms of seating, I guess we probably want some sofas. So like this nice kind of modern sofa there and there. We can go for there and there. And we can do a few sort of kind of in that middle space as well. And in terms of decorations, do we have any plants? We absolutely, absolutely do. So let me grab this fern and a fern. And uh, let's see, what else have we got? We have these hedges, which we can uh, we can do stuff with. So I kind of I kind of like that. I kind of like sort of, you know, directing people through the staff room a little bit. And maybe doing this sort of thing as well, just to kind of, you know, make it a little fancier. I think that looks ridiculous, but it's, it's what we're going to do for the staff room. So that's fine. Uh, we also have the airport logo. Which is uh, which is kind of cool, and decorations as well, as well as statues of a bottle of whatever that is of a plane. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, we've placed a few office desks, and we've placed some seating in the staff room. I don't know if we actually have to build those things before. Is that me? That is me. Okay. Do we actually have to build the things before it gives me the the little tick? There we go. Uh, decorate your terminal by putting in some new floors. Okay, we can totally do that. Uh, floors... I'm feeling like the staff room can probably have... I kind of like the idea of some, like, dark wood floors, to be honest. So let's go for... let's go for this one. 
in the uh, actually no let's go for a nice light kind of wood floor let's go for this fancy wood right there uh so that right there looks pretty good to me and now what do we need to do before you can accept commercial airlines and handle its passengers we need a commercial license let's set up office spaces in the staff room for the airport's administrators to work in research and development hire at least two administrators they will work on R&D projects and unlock new objects and systems. Okay, so staff uh, is where we need to go. We need to go to applicants. And we're looking for administrators. Now, we have David Levi, who has a fantastic mustache, much like my own. We'll hire you. And we've got, let's see here. We don't want a CFO. We've got Melanie, but you're kind of terrible. We have Camille. I guess we could get Camille. You're pretty good. Uh, Javiera is actually better. So we'll hire you. And that'll be fine. Uh, now, what do we need to do? Operations tab, R&D. We need to start the commercial license project inside of research and development. So that's going to be this guy. It's going to take three hours and we'll start the project. We can put more administrators on that, but I think we'll just stick with what the uh, tutorial is saying that we need to do so that we don't just completely overdo it. And that's actually a lovely little staff room. It looks ridiculous, but it's also kind of lovely. And I think I can paint it as well. I'm pretty sure that is a thing I can do, right? I can, I can paint those. Oh God, we're gonna need to pick a color for the airport. Now the channel color right now is sort of like that. So we could go, <laughs> we could go bright yellow. I think that's probably a little much. And then like the secondary channel color is like, is like that, it's very dark blue. Um, I think we'll just stick with, probably should have just stuck with a default color on those desks to be completely honest. Uh, but too late now. There we go. <laughs> We're going with yellow. And I also forgot to save the preset. Can I right click? I can, okay. Uh, so right click you, right click there. That's fine. So that's gonna be the default yellow that we go for, I guess. All right. Well, this seems like a pretty good little start. Hopefully for those of you that haven't been familiar with airport ceo this is kind of giving you a bit of an idea of what the game's about it will open up shortly and we will have a bunch more options for things that we can do we still need to build security we need to get the airport license etc 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 so that's all stuff that we can do wait 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 can't find a suitable runway oh no oh no um repair that please none of those planes were able to take off that's a bit of a problem at least it's resolved now, but uh, yeah, we can do all of the other things in the next episode because I think that's going to do us for today. So thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye